what? I like. I like the whole vibe. I do. I I like the band tonight with you in that white outfit. It looks like this is the band you meet when you go to heaven and you're St. Peter. Yeah, I like that. There's something angel like about this. Oh, I'll take it. I'll take it. We're going to play that heavenly music for them. As you do every night. As you do every night. Ladies and gentlemen, um, today marks a bittersweet milestone in the legacy of Late Night because after 28 years and 4,368 episodes, Conan O'Brien's Late Night run is ending. Conan has had an amazing tenure. It started back in 1993 when he began hosting Late Night at the tender age of nine. <laughs> Following a rocky puberty, he moved on to The Tonight Show and then spent 11 years at Conan on TBS, not to mention his brief spinoffs, Conan SVU, <laughs> Conan the Tank Engine, and Conarcos. <laughs> Tonight is his last show, uh, but like a kid who keeps saying he's running away, he'll be back before you know it with a new weekly show on HBO Max, which I assume is short for HBO Max Weinberg. <laughs> And just to get ahead, I'd like to wish Conan a fond pre-farewell for his upcoming triumphant decade on streaming and the next eight years on Gas Pump TV Plus <laughs> and his late 2040s run on a microchip-infused jelly that's injected directly into viewers' amygdala. It really feels like the bear is masturbating directly into your brain. Conan is a dear friend and a lovely fella who has been nothing but a strength and a great source of advice for me as I took over a late night show. And I want to congratulate him on 24 incredible years and several perfectly fine ones as well. <laughs> I hope he makes the most of his six days of retirement before starting work at HBO. And right now, I've asked one of my writers, Brian Stack, who worked with Conan for many years, to come out here and share some of his memories of working for Conan. Brian, come on out here. Brian Stack, everybody. There you go. Brian. Brian. Uh, how long did you work for Conan? 18 years. Wow. So you must know the true Conan that no one else is allowed to see. Are you ready to dish the ugly dirt about your old boss? Sure, if that's what my new boss wants. <laughs> Yes, it is. Okay, okay. All right, let her rip. He can't hurt you anymore. Go. Okay, here goes. Uh, this is probably something I definitely shouldn't say, but uh, he's Irish. <laughs> he is. Yeah, we, we all knew that, Brian. Wait, no, you didn't let me finish. He's Irish Catholic. <laughs> there's, there's different types. I understand. I did let you finish. Uh, and, and come on, you were there backstage. Dark secrets, cameras off, nobody looking. What happened? Okay. Oh. Okay, here's one. Con Conan is really tall, surprisingly tall. It's like, that's his whole deal, Brian. He's Slender Man Ron Weasley. Come on. <laughs> He's leaving late night. He has no power over you anymore. He no longer controls your career like a puppet on the string. Talk. Okay, well, this one's definitely going to get me in trouble. Uh, his middle name is, get this, Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> Just Brian, what's weird. going on? Did Conan make you sign an NDA? Oh, you mean like something where I'm not allowed to reveal details, like whether I've been asked to sign an NDA? Yes. Yeah, I signed one of those. <laughs> but, you know, actually, on second thought, it may not have been an NDA. It may have been a get well card. OK, clearly, clearly you've got nothing. Just forget it. Yeah, Ladies yeah, and gentlemen. It, I remember now, we got him the card because he got a pretty nasty contusion after he tripped, after we robbed that hospital. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's right. We, we needed the money to buy cocaine for our orgies at Betty White's underground sex dungeon. Yeah, and Conan likes his snow really pure. He'd always say, come on, Brian. You're on Team Coco. That stands for Conan's cocaine. Wow. Wow. Yeah, well, that probably, that's probably enough dark well, then, Oh, then uh, Pat Sajak made us all drink endangered leopard milk out of Lincoln's skull. <laughs> Crazy. And you know that thing is not watertight. Milk everywhere. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Brian, you really, you really don't Oh, I remember milk. it well, because it was right before Conan started selling counterfeit penicillin to clinics all over the developing world. <laughs> yeah, he knew Interpol was closing in, so he had to go into hiding with the Ukrainian arms smugglers. He knew 
you know, from when he used to run AKs to the Mujahideen in the late 80s. You know, back when he was writing for SNL, they had summers off. And uh, I'll never forget what he told me just before he filed his fingerprints off and had his face reconstructed using cadaver flesh sourced from a Chinese political prison. He looks me right in the eye and he says, Brian, if I can give you one piece of advice, it's never tell anyone I'm gonna murder Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> so why? Yeah, yeah. He will be missed. He will. Brian, thank you thank so you much. You. Brian Stack, everybody. Congratulations, Conan. We'll see you at Betty White's Sex Dungeon. When we come back, I sit down with Robert Duvall at his Virginia ranch.